Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to solve the 2x2 pocket cube. Uh, before we start scrambling up, let's take a closer look at the schema of the cube. Um, when you have a cube, um, how are the squares positioned? So in this case, or actually always, yellow is opposite of white, orange is opposite of red and opposite to blue is green. So in this tutorial I'm only going to use three algorithms. So let's start scrambling it up and start solving it again. The first step of solving the 2x2 two two pocket cube is um, solving the white square. So I always start uh, solving white and you can start solving the white square but you also have to solve the total first layer of the cube. Um, I usually start with the one with the sticker on it. If you don't have a sticker, just pick any corner piece that um, has white in it and um, you always start solving it with the white on top. So in uh, what we are looking for right here is a corner piece with orange in it, orange or blue. So, uh, well, here's one with blue, so we can start over here. What you have to do is um, bring the corner piece into the column where you um, uh, where you want it where you want to insert it in so it don't has to be positioned right but just bring it in the column and then perform the following algorithm until the corner piece is in there so in this case r i d i r d so you see we've now just fixed this and it's right because Red of uh, blue is connected here. So we're gonna search for the second piece. It has to be one with red, so we're searching for the red and white. Um, it's already in the right column, so we performed the algorithm. You can um, ma make it more easier if you, uh, in this case, turn it away, bring the corner down, insert it, or um, connect it, and then insert it. And, um, but you can also use the algorithm until the corner piece is, um, is suited right. So in this case, we're going to bring it again in the right column. And in, I'm going to use the algorithm now, but you can do, uh, you can do it the same as, a, as I did before. But uh, in this case, R, I, D, I, R, D, R, I, D, I, R, D, R, I, D, I, R, D. R I D I R D and here it is R I D I R D. Well, as you can see, we've now solved the total first layer of the cube. All the colors are connected, and we can go on until uh, to the second step solving this cube. So now we're gonna. Uh, flip the cube and start solving the yellow layer. In this case the corner pieces don't have to be positioned right so the colors don't have to be connected. You're only gonna solve the uh, yellow layer of the cube. Um, and actually uh, you have to perform an algorithm and, and usually you have to perform it multiple times but um, you're looking for this case where you have yellow on the left top you have a yellow in front of here and you have a yellow here and you have to hold the cube like this and perform the following algorithm ri ui r ui ri u u r and as you can see you've solved the yellow layer and a few other corners as well so we show total green here but usually you have to perform this algorithm multiple times so I'm gonna uh, scramble it up and um, I'm gonna uh, uh, perform a, a, a few other cases so you can see how you uh, which situations you come up to and um, how you can solve it so I scramble it up again and um, I've got some other um, well, the cube scrambled differently. 
Um, so what I usually uh, try to do is I try to put a corner piece, a yellow corner piece in the left top. It's not always possible, but you can try it. And um, you uh, can just perform the algorithm I just, uh, 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 I, I just used for solving the yellow um, uh, square. So you only use one algorithm for this. So, um, well, just from the algorithms, in some cases you have to uh, do it uh, four or five times, but um, let's just start and see uh, uh, in what cases we come up to. So, ri, ui, r, ui, ri, u, u, r. So, what you see here is now uh, there are two connected and there are two connected in the back as well. Um, but in this case, I'm not gonna put a, uh, a yellow piece. I'm just gonna split them up again like this. So, and I'm gonna perform the algorithm again. R, I, U, I, R, U, I, R, I, U, U, R. So, well, we're just gonna look, um, I'm gonna position it here again. R I U I R U I R I U U R. Let's do it again. And now we've just found the situation we're looking for a yellow here, a yellow here. And there's one here. So we're going to perform it one more time. And then we probably solved, or probably where we have solved the yellow square. So R I U I R U I R I U U R. So as you can see, the yellow square is solved, and where we can start solving the total layer. In this last step, we uh, are going to use the third algorithm, and what we do is we are going to connect the corner pieces and in this case when you've got two corner pieces we are going to connect them the right way and we're holding it at the back and we perform the following algorithm left eye left inverse u r i d2 1 2 r U I R I D two again one two R two one two and as you can see you've um, well actually you've solved the cube but you only have to connect it which is the back so like this and we've connected and we solved the uh, two by two pocket cube so. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys and uh, it is possible that in the last case you have to perform it twice but when you have two connected hold them at the back and then um, well perform the algorithm. Good luck!